Hey everyone, I'm Chase of Rocky Mountain HVMC, and today we're going to help you decide which throttle tube is best for you. All right, everyone, thanks for checking in. If you are watching this video, then chances are you have damaged your throttle tube and need to replace it, or maybe you're looking to upgrade. So we're gonna go through and show you all the different options that we carry for throttle tubes today. I'll talk about the differences between these, help you understand you know, which one you feel may, might be best for you. Now, before I dive too much into these, one important aspect that I wanna point out that I think is a very often and overlooked maintenance job that we should all be doing is just maintaining your throttle cable. We have new throttle cables if you need to replace, your, replace yours. If you inspect yours and it's frayed, get that sucker replaced. But there is a noticeable difference between a throttle cable that is either new or one that has just been clean and lubricated versus one that's been sitting for a while that is dirty where you've got a lot of gunk inside there. You start to maybe feel like it's getting a little bit sticky. You want to get that sucker cleaned out and lubricated. The good news is we have a great how-to video, one for showing you how to replace a throttle cable. We also have one that shows you how to clean and lubricate it. So just stay up on that because it does make a noticeable difference. Moving on, let's talk about throttle tubes. We've got plastic, we've got some lock-on grips, and we're gonna finish off with aluminum. We'll talk about each one, help you know which one's best for you. Starting out, plastic throttle tubes. Now look, just about all bikes out there are gonna come with a, with a plastic throttle tube. There are some bikes like KTM and Husqvarna that come with a lock-on grip, but even those still utilize plastic for the throttle tube. What's great about plastic is that they're inexpensive. If you did damage or break one, it's not gonna cost you an arm and leg to get it replaced. What's also great about these is that they're ideal for riders that use full wraparound handguards. We have a lot of riders here that run wraparound handguards, and the reason that these are nice for those is because it's easy to either cut off the ends or knock out the end caps, depending on what grip or what throttle tube you have, what bike you're riding, it's easy to get that done. For example, this is our Tusk plastic throttle tube. You can see how on this one, what we would actually do is just go and just cut the end of that right off, install our, our full wraparound handguards. With one right here from Motion Pro, a little bit different. You just have an insert on the end, but what's nice is you can just knock that out. You can put your hand guards on. And the last option when it comes to plastic is this one from ODI. A lot of people are familiar with the lock-on grips from these guys. What's cool though is that they do offer a regular plastic throttle tube, so you can choose whatever grip that you want to install on here, but it still comes with all the different throttle cams. So they will specify which one of these cams that you want to put on here for the bike that you have, but what's you know, appealing for some riders is that if you are gonna be switching bikes at a later date, you don't have to go buy a new throttle tube or buy new grips. What you can just do is take the throttle tube off with the grip that you have on it, find out which cam's gonna fit the bike that you're going to, and you can buy these cams individually if you just need a cam for the throttle tube, and then you can put on your motorcycle that you're gonna be riding, you're good to go. Now the only downside to a plastic throttle tube is just the durability factor. If you do have a crash, they are gonna be the easiest throttle tube to damage. So they could crack or they could break and then you could get sand inside there. You're gonna lose that smooth action. I hate it when I have sand inside my throttle tube. But what's nice, like I said, is that they are inexpensive to replace. Moving on from there, you have lock-on grips. Lock-on grips are what I've been running for years. I love them for a couple reasons. First of all, is the durability factor. With a lock-on grip, the end caps are just more durable than a standard plastic throttle tube. I've had plenty of crashes, plenty of tip-overs with lock-on grip where I thought for sure I was gonna break the end of my grip. It didn't, so I don't have to worry about breaking that or getting sand or dirt inside there if I do go down. So I like the durability aspect of a lock-on grip. Also, it's just the ease of install. How these work, if you've never used these before, is the grip is molded onto the, pla or the throttle tube. So you just slide this on your handlebar, put your throttle cable on, on there, you're good to go. Same goes for the clutch side. You slide the grip on, you use the lock screw that comes on there, you tighten that down. That's all it takes. No grip glue, no safety wire, super easy to install and take off when you need to. Now, one thing I do want to point out about lock-on grips that's important, if you rock full wraparound handguards, some of these are going to be full wraparound handguard friendly, some are not. So that is something that you do want to pay attention to. This is the ODI V2. This is a very popular lock-on grip. In fact, this one here with the no waffle design is my favorite. This one we've used on plenty of bikes with a full wraparound handguard. You've also got the Pro Taper, but you'll notice too, this is the ODI V2 Enig Pro. 
This lock-on grip is not wraparound friendly because they actually have an aluminum insert on the end, which is super durable, very tough, but it's not full wraparound handguard friendly. So a couple things to keep in mind there. But like I said, I love lock-on grips. I've used them for years, one of my favorites. Moving on from that, we have the Motion Pro Titan throttle tube. If I am not using a lock-on grip, this is the throttle tube that I like to use. Here's why. Yes, it is going to be more expensive than a standard plastic throttle tube, you're a little over 20 bucks, but Motion Pro uses a very hard, very durable plastic material. And here's what's cool about this. I'm totally okay with that price of just over 20 bucks because you get a five-year warranty on this throttle tube. If you manage to break this thing, if you go down in a crash within those five years, they will replace it for you. That is a dang good warranty for a throttle tube. You also do have a polished inner surface on the inside to help with that nice smooth action. You do want to be mindful though that they did not design this to be ran with full wraparound handguards. But another big benefit to this versus aluminum that we'll talk about here in just a second is that with this throttle tube, if you were to go down and you smack this thing really hard, being that it is made from that hard plastic, it's not going to bend, it's going to retain its shape, so it's not going to get seized onto the handlebar like you can see, you know, occasionally with an aluminum throttle tube. But again, that's the Titan throttle tube from Motion Pro. All right, so last category that we're going to cover is aluminum. Now, aluminum throttle tubes, they are a little bit more expensive, but they're popular for two main reasons. First of all, the durability factor, these things are super tough. But also, aluminum throttle tubes are known for having just the smoothest, most buttery action when you have these installed. Now, within aluminum, there are a couple different options to choose from, so we'll point those out. So, from ODI and Tusk, we have their standard aluminum throttle tubes up here. This one from Tusk is 6061 T6 aluminum, so very high quality. Now, keep in mind, with aluminum, you're not going to be able to run full wraparound handguards. But here's what's unique about this, is that you have this nylon sleeve here on the inside. And the idea behind that is to eliminate as much metal to metal contact as possible just to help maintain that smooth action. But also you have this knurled finish on top just to help your grip stick on there a little bit better once you have it installed. Now even with the Tusk or the ODI, you can see how the ODI kind of has those ribs going down there. You still want to use grip glue, you still want to use safety wire when you're putting grips on here. So you've got your standard aluminum throttle tube. You also have a couple options that will have a bearing on the outside. So again, Tusk and ODI both have this. Here's what this bearing is doing. If you are looking for a throttle tube that will have the smoothest action possible and reduce a lot of that slop. Sometimes with other throttle tubes, you notice when you put it on, you have a little bit of play on there. With this bearing, it helps eliminate that. And I'll explain and show you how it works here in just a moment. But you've got that nylon sleeve, just like the standard throttle tube. But again, you've got this bearing here on the outside. And what's cool about this is that when you put it on the bar, you're reducing any metal to metal contact. You just maintain that smooth action. And again, you're reducing that slop. Now, like I said, ODI, they have their standard aluminum throttle tube as well. The difference being just like with their lock on grips and the standard plastic, you have the different cams that come included. So if you are gonna be swapping bikes, it will allow you to do that. Last but not least is the ODI Fusion Pro. Now with this one, what's cool is that you can just twist this bearing off. And like I said, just like with the Tusk, you have different O-rings that come included, but the one, the bearing that you have on the Tusk is going to be very similar. They're both working the same way. You have these O-rings on here, and as you put the throttle tube onto the handlebar, this piece here where these O-rings are, are going to slide into the inner part of the bar. Now these O-rings is what's connect, or is contacting the handlebar. And between these and that nylon sleeve, that's your, your reducing or getting rid of that metal to metal contact to get that smooth action. But you'll notice though that when I hold this in, I can still spin it freely. So that's what's giving that nice smooth rotation. But I just want to show you exactly how this is working here. So take my handlebars. Now imagine you're taking your throttle tube and you're putting it onto the bar. This insert of this bearing right here, like I said, goes right into the end of the handlebar. So now your handlebar is contacting those O-rings versus the actual metal. And again, this outer piece is still going to spin freely. So between that and the nylon sleeve, you get a very smooth buttery action. Now with that, those O-rings, like I said, if you were to insert this and you feel like, ah, it's just a little bit too much play in there, you could try using the different O-rings to get a better fit. That's why they are there. Now, a couple things with aluminum throttle tubes you want to keep in mind. Like I said, you're not going to be able to use full wraparound handguards, but also, there's one drawback that you're going to hear some people talk about, and honestly, I've never heard of this happening to a rider, but I know it can happen, is that being that these are aluminum, if you were to crash hard enough and damage or bend this, 
there is a chance that it could get stuck to the handlebar. Like I said, I've never seen somebody have this actually happen to them. It is a possibility, but if you crash and you hit hard enough to where you have to replace a damaged aluminum throttle tube, chances are you're gonna have to replace your handlebars and maybe some other parts as well. But in any case, super smooth action, super strong, very durable. And that is it. That is our throttle tube buyer's guide. Hopefully now you know which option might be best for you. But if you do have more questions or comments, we want to get those answered. So make sure to leave those below. And to grab your next throttle tube or to get your new cable or your cleaning, lubricating items, click on the link or head over to RockyMountAtVMC.com. Remember, orders are over 75 bucks ship free. If you guys like this video, we got a lot of other great content on the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel. So get subscribed and stay up to date. I am Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.